Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking into Marie Fikakova, one of the world's earliest killer nurses. Born on the 9th of September 1936 in Sulce in the Pilsen region in what was then Czechoslovakia and is now part of the Czech Republic, Fikakova was born Schmidt to German parents and raised in a dysfunctional family. Her father was a proud German who openly hated Czechs and was an alcoholic, while Fikakova argued frequently with her mother. The family was also very poor. She married a Czech man adopting the name of her partner, Fikakova, however this marriage did not last long. At the age of 19 in 1955, Fikakova graduated from medical school in Klatovy in the Pilsen region and started working as a nurse. In 1957, she began working as a nurse in the neonatal department of a hospital in her hometown and was well liked by her colleagues. On the 23rd of February 1962, female newborn babies aged just 20 hours and 5 weeks old were found dead in the neonatal department, one of whom had broken arms and both had suffered from severe brain injuries with their deaths having occurred in quick succession. It was determined that the broken arms had to be deliberate. An autopsy found that the babies had died an unnatural death. In Czechoslovakia, whenever a newborn baby died, an autopsy had to be undertaken, which was inherited from the Austro-Hungarian Empire. If there is a suspicion of murders, two pathologists from the Legal Medicine Institute were present at the autopsy. Four days later, on the 27th of February, Fikakova was arrested in the hospital and at interrogation confessed to killing both babies. Admitting to having cracked the baby's skulls and breaking one of her hands, she acknowledged that she used violence against a dozen other newborn children who survived their attacks. She eventually confessed to murdering eight additional babies since she started working in the neonatal ward in 1957, however none of these were ever proven. But why did Fikakova kill at least two innocent babies? Well, she claimed that she suffered from pedophobia, which is a hatred of children. She particularly hated them crying as this prevented her from working as a nurse. She claimed that during her periods that this would manifest intensely and the children crying would cause her to enter a rage and beat the children. This would then allow her to get on with her work as a nurse. Doctors found Fikakova to be sane but prone to depression, hysteria and uncontrollable outbursts of anger. Vicar Culver went on trial for the murder of the two babies as it was not possible to prove that she had murdered any other babies. Eventually she was found guilty of the murders of a 20 hour and 5 week old baby. On the 9th of October 1960 she was sentenced to death. Her solicitor appealed the sentence twice but was unsuccessful. Sentenced to death she was executed by hanging at Pankrak Prison in Prague on the 13th of April 1961 at the age of 24. At the time, Czechoslovakia employed the short drop method of hanging and no details of the hanging were made public. The hospital in Suse was found to have minimal proper functioning supervision mechanisms, however no physician or administrator was ever charged or demoted for the murders committed by Fikakova. The whole affair was kept secret with the state-run media suppressing the news of Fikakova's crimes and execution due to a lack of confidence in hospital safety procedures and a fear that this would manifest into a sensation of panic amongst pregnant women. Even the parents of the two babies were told that they died of postpartum shock and heart failure. Due to allegations that she killed up to 10 babies, journalists in the Czech Republic have erroneously noted that she is the worst serial killer in the country's history. It was only when Czech journalist and writer Stanislav Motl got his hands on documents outlining Fikakova's crimes and execution that her crimes became public knowledge decades after the execution. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.